रहमान रहीम या अल्लाह आज हम पाकिस्तान हाई कमीशन के बाहर ये पैगाम देना चाहते हैं कि या तू अपने हबीब के सदके एक लाख चौबीस हजार पैगम्बरों के सदके औलिया अम्बिया कराम के सदके इस शख्स पर रहम फरमा खूस रहम फरमा या अल्लाह ये जिन लोगों ने इसे रेस्ट किया हुआ है इसके बच्चे फैमिली परेशान है या अल्लाह अपने हबीब के सदके अपने औलिया अम्बिया कराम के सदके एक लाख चौबीस हजार पैगम्बरों के सदके ये पाकिस्तान का मुखलस तरीन इंसान है ये पाकिस्तान की खातर जान देने वाला है इसे या अल्लाह बेईमानों से मुनाफकों से या अल्लाह आजाद करा या अल्लाह तू जो चाहे वो कर सकता है तेरी जात पाक है किबरिया तेरी शान जल्ला जला हूँ मेरे मौला तू बड़ है तू बेशक अपने रहम से अपने करम से इस बंदे की जान को आजादी दिला सकता है या अल्लाह जालमों के दिल में रहम पैदा कर या अल्लाह जालमों के दिल में रहम पैदा कर या अल्लाह उनके दिल में खसूस रहम डाल दे या अल्लाह उनके बच्चों से ये सदके या अल्लाह ये जालम अपने बच्चों के सदके इसको छोड़ दें या अल्लाह इसके भी छोटे छोटे बच्चे हैं पहले अरशद शरीफ को कत्ल कर दिया गया जिन्होंने किया या अल्लाह उनका खाना खराब कर या अल्लाह उनकी नस्लें उजाड़ दे या अल्लाह उनके बच्चों को बीमारियां लग जाए या अल्लाह वो कबीस के बच्चे दुनिया से नामुराद जाए यार मेरे मौला and we can now speak to Pakistan's former prime minister Imran Khan who joins me from his home in Lahore thank you for your time mr khan now we understand the police have surrounded your house can you tell us what the situation is at the moment and can you confirm that you're you expect to be arrested again well police is uh, around my house not in as, as large numbers as they were last night because last night the plan was that they said there were 40 terrorists hidden in my house and they were going to come and uh, 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 grab these terrorists so therefore uh, there was a, the whole area was surrounded by police but what i did was i asked all the journalists beforehand i said come over to my house and see where the terrorists are so that diffused the situation because clearly there were no terrorists so that's when the police uh, could not take action but the answer to your question do i expect to be rearrested yes uh, it could happen any time because even though i i'm on bail on everything now the police can't arrest me on any charges because the the courts have given me bail but unfortunately right now the law of the jungle is prevailing might is right seven and a half thousand of my workers have been arrested all my senior leadership has been arrested so uh, uh what will happen i don't know but i expect to be rearrested mr khan the 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 pakistani government says that you are sheltering some of your supporters who are accused of attacking the army so do you reject that claim it is absolute nonsense what happened was that when they illegally abducted me from the uh from the high court prisons it was all illegal and the way they grabbed me the beat all the my lawyers people got injured as if i was some terrorist and those images created this uh, demonstrations all over pakistan because my party is by far the biggest party federal party in pakistan now what they did was they used that these mass demonstrations that took place they perpetuated violence which is I don't remember such violence they shot shot dead 25 people which we already know but there are others which we can't know because then they started arresting seven and a half half thousand workers have been arrested we don't know what's going on all my leadership has been arrested so they used that pretext to crush my party because this is the election year and my party's poll in the polls it's 70% ratings right now Mr. so in Khan. order to crush the party that we don't contest the elections this is why all this is happening mr khan you've spoken about the street protests that were sparked by your arrest last week will you be calling for calm among your supporters to avoid further violence or are you encouraging people to protest look the protest the protest took place when they saw me being abducted from the prisons of the high court by the army that's why the protest took place there are no protests right now there is no public disorder but what is happening is that there's a crackdown unprecedented crackdown taking place 
I again repeat, my entire senior, senior leadership is in jail. They get bail from court. As they come out of the court, they again get re-arrested. There are women who've been arrested, a lot of the women living in awful conditions because it's extremely hot there. And unfortunately, uh, you know, right now it is a reign of terror we are facing. So Mr. Khan, the, I'd like to, I'd no like to ask you right now. I'd like to ask you, if I may, about the dozens of cases that have been brought against you in recent months, mostly on charges of corruption, but there's also terrorism, contempt of court. I'd like to hear from you. Do you deny all of them? Look, there are 150 cases on me. Out of those 150 cases, uh, four were when I was in jail. When I was inside the jail, there were four more criminal cases against me. There are 40 terrorist, terrorism cases against me. 15 criminal cases in one day. Even a hardened criminal would, could not commit 15 crimes in a day. So there, there are two corruption cases which are being contested. Uh, so, I mean, as someone who's been known in this country for 50 years, never committed one crime, certainly in the last few months, he's had 150 cases. No one believes this. People know me in this country for 50 years. You have uh, accused the country's military chief of being behind your last arrest, and you've also accused a senior general of being involved in a plan to kill you. These, of course, are serious accusations. Do you have evidence that supports these uh, allegations that you've made? The senior military intelligence officer was involved in my assassination attempt. I preempted it. I warned everyone that this is going to happen. When it did happen, I was lucky to be alive. 12 people got bullet wounds, one, got, one died, and they would not let me register a case. It was my fundamental right that I could, the suspects who were involved, I should have registered a case so they could be investigated. They never even allowed an investigation. So how am I going to bring my evidence forward? And whatever evidence, was coming through through a joint investigation committee, they sabotaged it. So how am I going to bring my evidence in public? And as for the charge of the army chief, well, the army who is who picked me up from the high court illegally, ruled by the Supreme Court, and the orders to the army comes right from the top. So one nation going to find resolution here. Two sides are so polarized, the country is divided. Where is resolution coming from? Look, Nick, there is only one solution. This is an election year. The elections cannot be held beyond October. So three months before the elections, uh, the, the, government, the government gets dissolved, so which is another two, two and a half months. Now, that is the solution. But unfortunately, what is happening is that the government is running away from elections. There were supposed to be provincial assembly elections in 70% of Pakistan, according to the constitution, ruled by the Supreme Court. The government refused. So they've already violated the constitution because they're scared of losing the elections. Who, finally, Imran Khan, are you blaming? Is it, is it the government or the army, the military? Who do you think is behind this? Well. Well, you know, the, of course, the 12 party coalition, which is in government, but they were brought in government by the ex army chief. So the military means one man, army chief, because it's not a democratic institution. So basically, what he decides goes. So what is happening right now clearly is that the, neither the military establishment, which means one man, nor these 12 parties, they're too scared for elections because they're scared I will win. So because of that, uh, you know, they're doing everything to make sure that I get out of the race. I have had two assassination attempts on me. One was where I was hit, one where I, uh, I was lucky to be alive because just, you know, I got saved, thank God. So this is the issue, 150 cases on me. Someone who has not had one criminal case in the last few months, has 150 cases, including 15 criminal cases in a day, 40 terrorist cases.
So, I mean, this is all to get me out of the race. Uh, actually, well, I'm going to throw one more question at you. In the past, you, you have blamed the United States for in, inciting all of this. Do you still think that's the case? Well, what, was, what we now subsequently discovered, well, l let me get, give you the background. My, our ambassador, Pakistan ambassador, when I was the prime minister in Washington, he had a meeting with a U.S. official, official meeting, and the cipher, the secret message which came to me, was that the U.S. official said that unless you remove Imran Khan as your prime minister, there'll be consequences to Pakistan. Uh, but later on, we discovered that it didn't originate from there. Our ex-army chief had fed the Americans against me and called me anti-American. We just all this came out later on. So it, it was initiated from here. The Americans were told how I was anti-American, and, and then came the cipher. All right, we'll leave it there. Uh, Imran. Imran Khan, ko main leke gaya mafi bhi mangi number one, adalat ke andar mafi mangi number two. Uska contempt of court ka mukadma hua number three. Uska toine adalat ka mukadma hua. To kal to wo Malvi jo halve zaba karne mein bada mushur hai. Usne to kaha hai ki three four judge agar is building ke andar zaba kar diye jaye. Zaba karne ka matlab aapko kya hai? Pakistan mein zaba ke usse logon ne videos nahi dekhi hui. यहाँ पे आप लोगों ने सब ने डिटेल से सब कुछ देखा सुना इमरान खान की गुफ्तु सुनी और इमरान रियाज के लिए जो दुआएं की जा रही हैं लंदन में अमेरिका में न्यू जर्सी में न्यूयॉर्क में कनाडा फ्लोरिडा हर जगह जो है इमरान खान रियाज भाई के लिए दुआएं की जा रही हैं अल्लाह ताला उनको जल्द से जल्द अपनी फैमिली में वापस लेकर आए उनको अपने हिफ्ज ईमान में रखें हम लोग यही दिल से दुआ करते हैं दूसरी साइड पर इमरान खान के लिए दुआ करते हैं कि दोबारा उनको बिल्कुल गिरफ्तार ना किया जाए पाकिस्तान के लिए तला अच्छा और बेहतर करे और जो कुछ भी अभी न्यूज़ आ रही है टिकटॉक के ऊपर दूसरी हर चीज जो है मैं आपसे शेयर कर रही हूँ और आप लोग इस चीज को अप्रिशिएट कर रहे हैं पसंद कर रहे हैं और अपने मैसेज कर रहे हैं कि ज्यादा से ज्यादा हमसे शेयर करें हमें बताएं डिटेल हमें देखकर बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है क्योंकि जो लोग बाहर रहते हैं उन लोगों को इतना टाइम नहीं होता कि वो टिकटॉक पर जाए या न्यूज सुन और ऐसा करें तो एक ही चैनल पर अगर आपको सब चीजें मिल रही हैं तो आई एम एम वेरी वेरी अप्रिशिएट कि आप लोग इस चीज को अप्रिशिएट करें और पसंद कर रहे हैं तो जी यही है मुल्क का जो है हम लोग दुआ कर सकते हैं कि अल्लाह तला जो है हम पाकिस्तान के लिए बल्कि हर मुल्क के लिए बहुत अच्छा और बेहतर करे जो मुल्क के लिए अच्छा है सदर अच्छा है जो मुल्क के लिए अच्छा सोच सकता है कर सकता है अल्लाह ताला वही उसको सामने लेकर आए आमीन सुमा आमीन आएंगे नेक्स्ट अपडेट ब्रेकिंग न्यूज के साथ ठीक है